All right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how <laughs> them guys use the Line 6 Pod Go to our advantage uh, when we play live or in a studio environment. Uh, myself, Anthony Green, uh, Nicholas Oob, our singer and guitar player, and John Wagaspak, our bass player, we all use the Line 6 product, uh, the Pod Go, and we use Digitech drop pedals because we play in eight different tunings, believe it or not. Uh, we use one guitar. <laughs> And uh, we use this one guitar, and we'll tune uh, standard E, and the uh, low string will tune the drop D when we occasionally need it. And we use the drop pedal to do all the, the low tunings and stuff like that throughout our whole set list. Um, right here in front of me, I have loaded up the Pod Go Edit, and I don't have the physical Digitech drop pedal here with me to show you an example but I can show you virtually what it really does um, so this is my signal chain I do have a lot of uh, effects that I do use with the band uh, Nick is very simplistic he uses just a clean a distortion and a lead boost uh, John uses his regular Ampeg bass tone and he uses a, a distorted Ampeg bass tone so that's pretty much it just two channels for him three channels for Nick and then like five or six seven eight nine I don't know however many I use, but uh, I, I like to make it sound like the album. If we recorded and we used a lot of effects, uh, I like to be the one to like color in those effects while we play live. Um, so in my signal chain here, we'll walk it through right quick. Uh, right here is where I would have the Digitech drop pedal. So what I would do is my intervals change in half step increments. So say if, if it was off, my guitar is tuned in standard drop D. So this is what it would sound like. Okay. And if I have it on, I would always leave it on negative one. Negative one means I just drop down a tuning half a step. So now I am set up uh, where my tuning would be half step down, uh, drop C sharp. Pretty cool, right? Um, then if we would go to say drop C, that would be negative two. Then drop B. Then drop B flat. So, if you didn't notice, I was switching tunings throughout that entire little jam right there. Um, I'll play it through right quick. Just keep an eye right here in this section right here. Pretty cool, right? So check it out here. I have, in my signal chain, I use the drop pedal. I have a wad that I occasionally use for like some solos. Um, the overdrive I use is the Ibanez uh, Tube Screamer 808. 
I use the rev generator purple. And then I use an emulated cab, which is an IR cab and impulse response. Uh, to emulate the exact cab that was used to record our album, uh, the cab was used was an orange 212 with vintage 30s, and the mics used were a Shure 57 and a Neumann 421 stereo microphone. So here in my plethora of, <laughs> of IR cabs, I have the orange cab label here, but I renamed it as them guys cab so it's easier to find. Um, I have an EQ block that I use for lead boost. I keep it standard. I don't mess with the EQ. Uh, I boost it by 3.3, which is a, I find is a good, a good, a good punchy lead. It'll cut through the whole mix, and it'll definitely make me, <laughs> it'll definitely make me louder than everybody else. So you can hear me do a solo, I guess. Uh, my ego is just way too big. I'm sorry. Um, at the same time that that. EQ block comes on. I have uh, a digital delay that comes on at the same time, and it is also boosted, so I can have a little, a little more delay spillover and stuff like that. Uh, this block right here is just for my personal preference at home. Uh, I like the stereo mix to make it sound like my left side is kind of delayed a little bit, and make it sloppy, and it sounds like it's recorded stereo, you know. But usually when we play live, this would be off, and this is my basic clean channel setup. For well, my distorted setup. Now, speaking of clean, I have a clean channel setup here that we use for the song Recall, and in its signal chain is a PRS Archetype clean amp, same cab. Uh, it has a lead boost, but I don't use it. Uh, stereo to make it sound nice. I have a nice digital delay setup uh, where it's not EQ; it's just a spillover, just to kind of carry on the mix. And then this is the holy grail right here, this reverb, the particle verb. Now, it sounds kind of like a, uh, I don't know how to explain it, like an orchestra, some strings in the background kind of sound or whatever. And uh, this is an example. Isn't that nice? That's so nice. Uh, so pretty much that's that's my entire setup. Uh, I use I actually use like five channels with, you know, I have sometimes I have the effects already on on those channels, but these are my basic two. This is what my my starting point looks like. Um, uh, and I uh, I thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.